IST2B Foundation Level, Question 314. At the beginning of each iteration, the team estimates the amount of work in person days we will need to complete during the iteration. Let EN be the estimated amount of work for iteration N. And let AN be the actual amount of work done in iteration N. From the third iteration, the team uses the following estimation model based on extrapolation. C formula. En equals 3 multiple a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 divided by 4. The graph shows the estimated and actual amount of work for the first four iterations. See figure. What is the estimated amount of work for iteration number 5? A. 10.5 person days. B. 8.25 person days. C. 6.5 person days. D. 9.4 person days. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ICQB questions on a regular basis. To answer this question, you need to figure out estimation based on extrapolation and formulas according to ISTQB syllabus. We have iteration number 5. It means that n equals 5, n minus 1 equals 4, and n minus 2 equals 3. Pay attention to the last two gray boxes. A4 equals 6 and A3 equals 8. From the formula we obtain E5 equals 3 multiple A4 plus A3 divided by 4 equals 3 multiple 6 plus 8 divided by 4 equals 26 divided by 4 equals 6.5 person days. This means the correct answer is C. Answers A, B, D are wrong. My recommendations. Please remember all the estimation techniques to pass STFL exam. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 5.1.4 estimation techniques in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that extrapolation. In this matrix-based technique, measurements are made as early as possible in the current project to gather the data. Having enough observations, the effort requires for the remaining work can be approximated by extrapolating this data usually by applying a mathematical model. This method is very suitable in interactive SDLCS. For example, the team may extrapolate the test effort in the forthcoming iteration as the average effort from the last three iterations. This is consistent with our calculation and the correct answer C. I do think that you are an incredibly talented person and I believe your dream comes true. Don't stop, never give up.